So what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm just draining down the fuel tank. I'm just curious as to how much fuel is actually in the tank. Um, I think the gauge might be a little bit off, but easiest way to do it, you've got the mechanical lift pump here. I've just taken off the inlet hose and dangled the hose down into a, a low profile tray. It's just trickling under, under gravity. At the back here, once you've got the, the tank, pop the cap there. The tank was nearly empty anyway. Um, you can just see the final amount of fuel in there. And when it's empty, I'm just going to remove the fuel from there, put the hose back on, reconnect the battery because I've disconnected it. And I'll turn the ignition on and we'll see on the gauge what it's actually shown. I'm not sure whether the um, the sender units failed or failing the the voltage regulator because I believe the gauges are they run off like a 10 volt supply from the regulator. Did fit a new one a couple of years back, but for some reason that it's a bit iffy with the with the uh, with the gauge because it's shown like a quarter tank. I think the tank. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it's about 30 litre tank, 30, 35. Um, I'll have to get the Haynes manual out to check, but just anything, just curiosity if anything. Obviously, it's a it's a clean tray. I'll put a put a funnel when I when I put it back in. The tray was full there. I just pulled this fuel out. It's not looking very very good. The fuel it's very yellowy. I mean, it's the fuel's been in there for quite a long time. Um, considering just draining the full tank down and not putting this fuel back in and just getting some jerry cans and just going to the petrol station and filling it up when needed. Um, I mean, to be honest, it's running on this fuel, but looking at the condition of it, it doesn't, I mean, it smells all right, but it's been sitting in the, in the tank for probably about two years, so it might be worth just not putting that back in, probably using it for the lawnmower or something. Still draining down there. It's looking a, it's a lot clearer um, now. I've taken the bottom of the tank off. Could just be like the sediment sitting in the bottom. Um, but take a bit more. I'm just see. I'm just curious to see how much is actually in the tank, uh, more than anything else. So we'll come back to it when it's when it's empty. So that's all the, the fuel out the car. One basin and one big tray. So we'll put the ignition on. I'll put the battery back on. Put the key in the ignition and see what the, uh, the gauge reads. So that's the ignition on. Just waiting for the fuel gauge to come up. And you see it's rising. Water tank. Just over a quarter. Which is strange because there's no fuel in the tank. Very odd. So that means, I mean, the gauge is pretty new. Like I say, the voltage regulator, I mean, I measure the voltage, it's going up to nearly half a tank there now. Um, I don't know if that is a sign of the voltage regulator, but it could be the sender unit in the tank. I mean, for how much it is, it might be worth just changing it. Um, but I know there's not half a tank. So it needs further investigation. And for the fuel, um, the hose is back on. This is from the tank under the car to the mechanical lift pump. It's secured there with a clip. Obviously then it comes on the exit side over to a little inline fuel filter and then to the twin SU carbs. Put it back in the car, use the filler. I'm gonna put a big white funnel in, that one down there. And then we'll just pour the fuel in uh, nice and slowly. Next time I'm going to drain the fuel, I'm going to put fresh fuel in, but just for now so I can move the car around. I'm just going to put that fuel back in. I know it runs on that fuel because I brought it out of the garage with it, but looking at the condition of it, I'm just going to bin that fuel um, in the next few months. And then before we drive it, we'll put fresh fuel in. See if I can get sort of like a, a 98 octane. Put the put the lead additive in because this car hasn't got the the, the Stellite valve seats uh, conversion. Um, it's never, never something I'd consider doing. Now I pulled all the fuel in, bar the, the last of it from the first bit because there is a bit of water in there. So when I drained the, drained the tank initially, this in theory was the first to come out because it's at the bottom of the tank. Uh, a little bit of water in there, not much. Bit of 
sort of dirt from the tank as well. Yeah, but so you can see what without a filter, obviously the fuel filter is not going to filter out the water, but the particulates it will. It's just a bit in there. I mean, that's the first time it's been drained. It looks like a fairly new tank. Um, definitely fitted before I bought the car, probably eight years ago. Yes, yeah, bit in there. So just as well we didn't put that back in. I'll just leave that there to evaporate, and then uh, probably in a future video we'll we'll tackle the the sender unit. Um, the voltage regulator, the gauge, pretty convinced the gauge is fine. To be honest, I'm thinking the voltage regulator is fine as well. I mean, as, as long as it's putting out 10, steady 10 volts. Um, could be the sender. I mean, the sender could be stuck. It could just be stuck halfway up the tank. Um, but we won't know. We'll have to drain the tank again for that. It's pretty easy to get to just through the boot or... Yeah, it's through the boot, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll do that in a future video.